This is Lewis from SoFly, and this is the WPML add-on for WPL import. So I'm running WPML, which is a WordPress plugin for building multilingual sites, and uh, you'll see that here. And I've activated both English and Spanish. Um, now I'll go into WPL import, where I have the WPML add-on installed. I'll choose my file. I have a multilingual file right here. This is what it looks like. I have two products in the file, and there are two languages. There's English and Spanish. Title Alt and Description Alt contain the Spanish translations. Category Alt also has a Spanish category translation. So I will upload this file with WPL import. So my title and description for the English language. And I'm going to create products here. The WPML add-on for WPL import works perfectly with uh, WooCommerce multilingual as well. Set the SKU, set the price, and set the product category. And one important thing to note right here is the unique key has to be unique for both the English and the Spanish products. And because title for the English product right here is different than the Spanish product, we can't use what's been auto-detected here. What we have to use is just the ID, which is the same for both the English and Spanish version. Finish the import, and it's going to create two posts. We'll go over to WooCommerce, take a look at those. Uh, sorry, products in WooCommerce, and here they are. No Spanish translations yet. Let's take a look at this product just to see what it looks like. And if we go to Spanish, there's not an option for Spanish yet. Now we're going to import the Spanish version. Go to Manage Imports. And since I have Spanish activated, I just click the plus next to the Spanish language icon. And I will choose the same file. But this time, I will set the title to title alt, and description to description alt. The SKU is the same. The price is the same. And the category is category alt. Finish the import. And now when we go to WooCommerce products, we'll see that these products have Spanish translations. So now if I view this product, I can change the language to Spanish, and here is the Spanish translation. Now I'm going to show how to do the same thing, but with two files, not just one file. So we'll delete this import, start fresh. No more products in WooCommerce. We'll make a new import. This time, we'll only import English language products. Finish the import. Two products are created. Now we'll add a Spanish translation for these products. Here's the Spanish file. The ID is the same. The title, the description, the category is changed though to Spanish. We've now imported the Spanish file to view the product and translate it to Spanish. And that is the WPML add-on for WPL import.